I have a confession to make. I am an optimist. I can't help it. And it's really crazy because I'm old. Uh, I've had many more losses than victories in my life, but I just can't help it. I still look to the lighter, brighter side of things. Which brings me to our subject today, which is robotics and automation. Every time I read an article about this or I hear people talking about it, it's always negative. It's going to destroy jobs. It's going to you know, hurt the livelihood of man. Well, the optimist in me says, hold on just a second, because in my lifetime, just about every technological advance I can think of actually helped our economy. It created more jobs and was really good for us overall. And so here I want to blow you away just for a second. I think that the robotics and automation revolution that is really about to take place, and it is. Yes, it's going to take the manufacturing jobs, the assembly line stuff. Yes, we're going to see kiosks where there were formerly cashiers. But hear me again, I believe the revolution of robotics and automation will greatly enhance our economy. I think robotics automation will, one, create more jobs. They will be better paying jobs. and our economy is going to scream because of it, which will require more human labor at that point. Now, think about it this way. In robotics, you still have to have humans involved with that. You've got to have people who can program, you know, code the language so that the robotics can do what they're supposed to do. You've got to have people who are going to be operators for those machines in the businesses. You, you have to have people who can do the maintenance part when there's a breakdown or when it needs to be oiled. You still have to have managers who will manage the operations and come up with, you know, process improvement as you go along. But the main point is that this revolution will create so much more productivity, that's where you'll need many more humans to be involved with it. Let me give an example, and I hate to ever use slavery as an example, but I'm going to, so I'm not making a statement on slavery, it's just technology, okay? When the cotton gin was invented, and a lot of people thought, when they saw how awesome it was, that it would literally wipe out slavery. That that would take care of the whole slavery issue because the cotton gin, and I don't understand all the way the cotton has to be separated and how that is harvested, but the cotton gin did it. And so everybody said, well, hey, this is going to, you know, won't need slaves with this. But the opposite was true. The cotton gin created a scenario where it so increased the potential for productivity that they needed even more workers. It literally tripled the number of slaves that plantation owners had because the cotton gin created a tenfold increase in productivity. So they made that much more money. And again, I apologize for using the slavery issue, but I use it because it's such a clear example of what technology can bring to the table. And I think that's what's gonna happen with this robotics and automation. Hey, I'm gonna stick with it until you can get me a drug that will take care of my optimism.